Perfect. Good example of counter conditioning. So now a little bit closer, just to the this key. And we wait. Just going to wind up in a moment. Keep that pressure on now. Turn it off when she looks at you. At the same time, you're going to mark it. Good. After you feed her that, you're going to walk away and come back and then come to this exact same spot. Yep, turn back. Good. She left that guy alone. That was very nice. Just wait there now. Yep, turn around, turn around. We're going to talk about footwork in a moment so we don't trip. Turn back again. And now just wait there. Wait there. Keep that pressure on. Keep it on. Release a reward. Nice and loud with your marker too. Keep it on. And keep your hand closer to your hip. Closer to your hip. Good. Take one step back and say her name. Again. Tell her to sit. Yeah, very nice. Spades up. Let's go. Okay, start walking. Much nicer. Now she's leaving him alone. Because that's how she truly feels. She doesn't want them to get close. So she does the bark, the lunge to make that happen. Now that we're saying don't do that, she's like, oh my God, how do I stop it? And it's exactly what we're looking for. And good momentum now. Those legs are moving a lot better. Good flow, good momentum. Turn around and walk right past us. Nice, good footwork there too. Good, movement's the key. All right, so he's now doing different behaviors, like jumping up. Spades up. Yes. And I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to be naughty and make him bark to kind of get one more level of reaction. But I'll probably get you to walk a bit that way first so you're not barking up in her face. Yeah, in that direction's good. Spades, speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> good. Okay, turn around again. The exact same thing, but now she's a bit more triggered, which is fine. Just there, stop. And just wait. Market. Reward. Beautiful. Good boy.